Imagine if you could make a video in minutes by simply typing in an idea. Here I use the AI tool in video. All I did was type in the concept most dangerous animals and then in video made me this complete video. It provided the footage, the script, the voiceover, literally everything in just a few minutes. That's the power of artificial intelligence today. I decided to run a little experiment and I generated 8,000 views in less than a day. I created a brand new channel about interesting facts and called it Faxy. I made a logo with Canva and generated my first video with InVideo. The topic was lesser known facts about the Roman Empire. Within one day, I had over 8,000 views, 200 likes, 17 subscribers and eight comments. I didn't run any ads or emails. I didn't hire any editors. This is just pure organic traffic to a brand new channel made completely with AI. You could be making $5,000 per month with a faceless YouTube channel. That's what this geography channel does. Interesting facts about the world translates to 150,000 subscribers, $5,000 per month in income, and never needing to show your face on camera. You could be making something similar with a tool like InVideo. This one video about Coca-Cola generated $100,000. Sometimes all you really need is just a single blockbuster video that cuts through the noise. Then you can basically retire for the rest of the year. Research from Harvard Business School shows that success in entertainment centers on this blockbuster strategy. Keep in mind that you can't expect one specific video to go viral. You have to invest in making many videos before one becomes super famous. Blockbuster strategies depend on having a portfolio. Later, I'm going to show you some steps you can follow to maximize your chances of breakthrough success like this. It's possible to make viral videos completely with AI. This channel generates 8 million views per day from YouTube Shorts about random facts. You can see that they have over half a million subscribers. Traditional video production is dying. It's way too slow because it relies too much on manual labor. It's expensive because you have to pay for a lot of software, stock imagery, sound effects, music, and the labor involved in filming, editing, sound design, voiceovers, etc. There are too many moving parts to stitch together different programs to generate subtitles, scripts, sound effects, visual effects, and so on. And there are just too many people needed to get the video out the door. Video production is really frustrating and slow when you don't use AI, artificial intelligence. In video consolidates almost everything. It makes video production automatic and fully scalable. You could hire and train pretty much anyone to make hundreds of videos with this software. Here are the specific use cases for AI generated videos with InVideo. YouTube videos and YouTube shorts, TikToks, social media posts, advertisements, and personal invitations for things like birthday parties. You can also repurpose your existing content. For example, you might take all of your blog posts and convert them into YouTube videos. Or you could convert the text on your web pages into 60 second video clips. One of the most powerful tools in InVideo is voice cloning. This is something I'm really impressed with. It did a great job copying the sound of my voice and using it for AI generated voiceovers. I'll walk you through how to make your own clone later with step-by-step -step instructions. InVideo can also generate B-roll footage. Let's say, for example, that you have a webcam recording of you talking. That gets pretty boring to watch for five minutes straight, so you might want to break it up with shots of things like moving cars, or people, or products, or office environments. You can generate an entire script in InVideo by just typing in a concept or theme. You can make slideshow presentations, and you can also make intros and outros to your films. Production has never been easier. You can make a video by just typing an idea into InVideo. You could type your own script into the program, or you could use ChatGPT to write you a script. 
or you could hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork to do it for you. Now I'm going to walk you through six preset workflows for AI-generated videos. You have YouTube Explainer, Script to Video, YouTube Shorts, Recent Events Video, TikTok Video, and Instagram Reel. If you click YouTube Explainer, this is what you'll see. Just start filling out the forms. First, you specify how long the video is, then type in the topic. Below the topic, you can specify specific creative directions. For example, making it sound funny, making it scary. Let's go through the specific settings. First is the length of the video, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, and so on. Choose your voice, male, female, or the clone of your own voice. You can get detailed with a specific accent as well. For example, an accent from New York or California. You have a bunch of options for subtitles. For example, you can choose to highlight each word in yellow as it is spoken. And lastly, you can choose how much eye stock you want to use. The next workflow is script to video. I use this workflow a lot when I create scripts with ChatGPT. Specify the type of video you want to make. For example, TikTok. Paste your script, but make sure it's 3,000 characters or less. Then describe the type of background music you want. Next, choose your voiceover settings. YouTube Shorts Workflow. Just tell in video what topic you want and then choose your settings, like the type of voiceover and the subtitles. You'll see that the different workflow settings are pretty much the same across these different types. Recent Events Video. This is similar to creating any other type of video, but with one specific exception. You can specify a website to help the AI come up with the content. For example, I use nasa.gov to help with creating a science video that you can see here. TikTok workflow. Just describe the short form video you want and choose your settings. Instagram reel. Give in video some prompts and settings and within minutes you'll have a video you can upload instantly to Instagram. One of the coolest features in InVideo is this voice cloning tool. I spend a lot of time recording myself while reading notes or reading from a teleprompter. But imagine if all of that was automated with an AI clone that did all the work for you. Just click Voices on the left-hand side, then Add Voice on the right. It will prompt you to upload a sample recording. You can use any basic recorder on your computer. I spoke randomly for about 30 seconds, and then I checked off all the disclaimers. Then you hit the button that says, My sample looks good. The clone really does sound like me. I was quite surprised. Once you cloned your voice, follow these steps to use it. Click Clone Your Voice, then select Use under Voice 1. Once you do that, you'll get this text at the top of your video prompt that indicates the settings. Below that, you can type in the idea for the video. In Step 4, you can see that I made a complete video about marketing using a voiceover that sounds just like me. My friend owns several YouTube channels where he clones his voice. Here, he's using it to teach English grammar, and on others, he's using it for comedy videos. You can clone up to 50 voices. For example, you might clone all the executives in your company, or hire a voice actor for different styles, like comical or professional. You could also clone everyone in your family. Editing is really simple. You can click the Edit button after the video is made. But before you do that, I want to show you an even easier way, an AI-driven way, to do video editing. Below your video is a text field next to the blue button that says Generate. Here you can tell the AI anything you want. For example, delete the second scene, make the scene half as long, or change this current stock imagery. The most common thing I type is simply Add Subtitles. You can also use this text field to make changes to the voiceover, for example, changing it to a female voice. When you click the little edit button, you'll see the edit media section. This is where you can upload your own media, like videos and images. 
You can see at the bottom that I uploaded three <laughs> files, including a webcam talking head video. If I hit replace, it will substitute the stock video with my custom video. You can click each of the scenes at the top and replace them as you wish. You can also add different stock videos instead of using your own custom ones. Here I search for the keyword marketing. It shows me a bunch of video options at the bottom that I can use to replace the footage at the top. You can search for anything that you need. After you upload media, they'll be collected in this section on the left navigation called the Media Library. You can upload and delete files here as you wish. That's how you edit media. Now I'm going to explain how to edit the script. On the left, you can see the script for the video, broken up into different sections. This is similar to how teleprompters organize text. On the right, if you click one of those little white play buttons, you'll be able to make changes. Here, for example, I have the title, Napoleon, the man beyond the myth. This appears as a text overlay at the beginning of my YouTube short. I can change the text and the text style. I can also edit the prompts that generate the videos for each section. Here, for example, the AI wants to generate imagery based on city skylines. I could change this to footage from an office or footage from the jungle. You can manually tweak the creative direction by just clicking those little white play buttons. Another useful section is the history, which you can find on the left. Maybe you tried a bunch of different experiments and want to go back to a certain video that stood out the most. The history section is the easiest place to do this. Let's talk about different strategies to make viral videos. The first strategy is to use YouTube Studio. Go to the analytics section on the left, then choose research and then searches across YouTube. Type in a topic, then choose the filter option content gaps only. Content gaps are topics that a lot of people are searching for, even though there aren't a lot of relevant videos. So basically, this is an ideal situation where demand is high, but supply or competition is low. Not all topics are going to have content gaps, however. So you might have to try this five times before you find a great video idea. For example, trying five different keywords. Another strategy is to use a tool like Answer the Public. Check the YouTube tab option. Here you can find a bunch of questions that people are asking and your viral videos might be the answers to those queries. Strategy is slightly more complicated. First, find a channel that is pretty popular in your niche or industry. I found the channel in the middle here called The Future. It's pretty well known for the topic of personal branding. Take a look at recent videos that have really high view counts in that channel. We're talking like three times what's normal for that channel. Whatever topics those cover are ideas for your next viral video. Just remember to look at recent videos like those in the last six months. Topics trending a couple of years ago won't be so relevant today. To take this viral strategy to the next level, look specifically at the comments on those outstanding videos. The questions and comments people leave are also ideas for your next viral video. A fourth strategy is to look for extreme or outrageous video concepts. Mr. Beast is a great example of this. Look at this video on $1 versus a $1 billion boat. Extreme ideas are often what succeed in journalism and also are what will help you generate viral videos. And remember, making the video is incredibly easy with AI. The hard part is just coming up with a cool idea. The last strategy I have here is to identify trends using tools like Google Trends. Find out what's trending in your country and make a video about it. I like to open YouTube on my phone and look at the trending tab like this. Here, for example, the Toyota 4Runner is a trending topic. So I told in video to make me a TikTok about it. And within minutes, I had a video that I could publish. There are four big categories that are particularly popular with these types of AI generated videos. The first is food. Maybe you could talk about the most popular types of pizzas. 
Second is travel. Maybe you can recommend the top hotels to stay at in Morocco. And last is science. You can make videos about the latest discoveries in space. To wrap up, you can make scripts, voices, subtitles, footage, and images, all from a single prompt using the power of AI and the app called NVIDIA.